Hi everyone, it's Laura Wilson here from iBrandBoost.com and Social Media Review Facebook group. And I'm just chilling out, just finished the gym, having a beer. Just one, mind you, because I've got a lot to do tomorrow. Uh, listening to a bit of Hector Laveau uh, on YouTube. And I'm going to bring you the next instalment um, of my social media tips. If you remember last time I spoke to you, I read out an excerpt from this book. This is the Social Media Bible. And I was talking about um, the, the, the reason why we need to be careful what we post on our social media profiles um, because it's likely to stay in the kind of internet ether forevermore. Um, so we need to manage our online reputation. And with that in mind, I received a very interesting email, which I'm going to read out to you. So this person um, sent me an article and it says, as the digital age progresses at a lightning speed and social networking such as Facebook and MySpace seem to be a part of everyone's lives, it's a good time to have a think about the implications of having an online identity. This is not intended to be scaremongering, but more of an eye-opener into how your personal information is shared and available for all to see. So, like many of you, I have myself participated in these so-called so social networking sites. In fact, both Facebook and MySpace. And while both of these sites have settings that allow you to control your privacy, they give you the impression that only your invited friends can see your content. This is not strictly true. Why? And this is true. We know this. Um, all of our profile information um, is available and they can use our information, the owners of the websites. So he continues to say, because of the popularity of social sites, other dot-com entrepreneurs have started a new niche, creating sites that collate information from all of your other social sites, kind of like a yellow page is all about you, if you like. The trigger for me writing this article was that I came across one of these sites very recently and was horrified that content I thought I had control over was being openly shared on one web page for all to see. This site is called 123people.co.uk. If you haven't seen the site, then go and check it out. Um, type in your name or your brand and see what comes up. It's a real eye-opener. When searching for my name on 123people, it presented me with a fairly substantial list of, um, of content that referenced my name over the past few years. Whilst I know about most of it, some I did not. Some of the information that 123 people share is as follows. Facebook pictures, MySpace pictures, Amazon wish lists, and this is true because my, my Amazon wish list, um, like a Christmas wish list from about three years ago, um, was appearing in the search engines for a while for my name, um, much to my kind of surprise. <laughs> and, also, and you know, someone typing in Laura Wilson UK, um, instead of seeing all this content that I want them to see about social media or alkaline diet or whatever else I might want to promote, um, it was like a wish list of all these books I've ordered. Not that I, you know, have any reason to hide it, but it was just a bit, a bit strange, I thought. Um, product reviews I had submitted on a variety of sites, he continues, um, blog posts I'd written in the past, a 192.com telephone entry for an address I lived at in 2002 and is now out of date my Flickr photo galleries. I was always under the impression that things on my Facebook page were only viewable to my friends and the same for MySpace. However, 123people.co.uk had managed to ex extract my profile pictures from both of these sites without my consent. Some of the information that was presented on 123 people is public domain. Uh, such as Flickr, hold on. Yeah. So my Flickr photos, I knew this, however, as I read the terms and conditions and decided to make my profile public. So how do you go about preventing this information from being displayed? Well, having a look through the small print on one, two, three people, I found that there are two main options for hiding your content from their system, neither of which are particularly useful. Option one, their recommended approach, is to delete your information at source. So go into you know, Facebook, MySpace, Amazon and delete your information. Um, I'm just cutting out a bit of blurb here because he goes on a bit. Option two, contact one, two, three people and in order for them to delete any of your content you need to provide a link as shown on their site and send it to them. They can then put a manual block on the content being shown. Whilst option two seems reasonable, in some places it is completely impractical. For example, there are several pages of results for my own name. Submitting a link for every single one of these could take ages. It's a tumour. 
Um, anyway, my advice would be to look at the information that is shown on one, two, three people and decide which things you are happy to stay on this site. If there's, a, if there's anything you don't want shown, you should go to the source and remove it from there. I have now deleted my wish list from Amazon and it's appeared from 123 people as well. It is worth mentioning that 123 people do not store information about you, they simply gather it from everywhere else um, when your name is searched. I hope this article proves as a useful reminder to you all that having an online identity needs to be considered carefully. So this is the point here, right the other day, that you really need to manage your online reputation be very careful what you put out there because it can be collated, aggr uh, aggregated, I was going to say aggregated, um, but collected in other words um, by third party resources and sold on and used and whatever else. So he does say that if your name is John Smith or something popular, um, then you may find hundreds of results that apply to other John Smiths. You may not need to worry as much. But if you do have an unusual name like this person does, um, then you need to be a lot more careful. So, so bear that in mind also. Okay, so um, yeah, just a, an interesting article there. And I hope that um, provides a bit of a further insight into why uh, we need to watch out for our online reputations. So, this is Laura Wilson, Friday night, just kicking back, having a beer, listening to some tunes. And that's it for today, and I'll speak to you over the weekend. Thank you very much for listening. I'll speak to you later. Bye.